Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon, and today we're going to be talking about Home Assistant's new Bluetooth integration and the Bluetooth proxy. I'm going to show you how to install it and get up and running. So what you're going to need for this project are three things. The first thing is one of these guys, an ESP32 module, and I'll show you which one to buy in the link below. Second thing you need is a micro USB B cable. So it looks something like this. Here we go. Once again, I'll put a link to this in the description. Third thing is a power brick. Any one that you use with your mobile phone, just got the USB plug into it. Those are the three things you need. Let's get started. So Home Assistant introduced the Bluetooth integration a couple of months back. And shortly after that, the Bluetooth proxies came out. And these are a really good way to um, access Bluetooth around your home without having to have the devices close to the, uh, the Raspberry Pi, for example, with the Bluetooth uh, radio on it because Bluetooth has a fairly short range. Um, generally, I say three or four meters works really, really well. Some people are getting further than that, but if you go too far, they start falling off the system. So the beauty of this Bluetooth proxy is that effectively you can set up these ESP32 devices anyone in, anywhere in your home. They are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled, and you just plug them in you can hide them away discreetly in a corner of your room. And then these little Bluetooth devices connect in locally to these proxies. So it works really, really well. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to connect, how to flash one of these ESP32s and set it up as a Bluetooth proxy. And then you can use something like the little Xiaomi temperature humidity sensors for $5. You can have them all over your home and along with other Bluetooth devices that you want to may want to integrate into your home assistant. All right, so what we're going to do now, I have plugged my ESP32 um, into the USB cable and the other end of the USB cable I've plugged into my laptop. Now there is a little button on there called the RST or the boot button. I'm just going to press that. Um, it sometimes flashes without, but I would recommend just pressing it down. Hold it down while you start flashing. Now, there's three options here. We're going to select the generic ESP32, which is already selected. So I go connect. All right. Now, you want to select the, I've got the USB to UART bridge controller. That's the one you want to find. So you press the connect button, and as you can see, it's already started connecting. Now, I want to install ESP32 generic and I want to erase it, so I go install. So what it's doing now is effectively it's erasing all of the data that is stored on that ESP32 at the moment, and it's flashing up this Bluetooth proxy software, which will be loaded onto the device. Once it's loaded, it will then connect to Home Assistant, and we can then access it and start up setting our integrations. All right, so once it's finished, it'll come up with this little statement installation complete you now go next um, and now you need to select your Wi-Fi network so just go along there there's mine trust power and then you need to get your Wi-Fi password and we'll just copy that and we'll go along and we'll stick it in there and then we go connect so it's now connecting the Bluetooth proxy to your local Wi-Fi this should take a a short time there we go now we can go add to home assistant um, open the link and this will now open the link of your local home assistant that you're running um, so I'm just going to open mine up here and you'll see already that it's discovered a new device so I'm going to go check it out and there we go proxy so I'll go configure and submit easy as that we'll just add that to an area we'll say this is in the bedroom for example finished and there we go. Simple as that. Now all I need to do is go and start adding my Bluetooth devices. That's all for now. Have a great week. Bye for then.